The 2023 latest thriller movie influencer comes to thrill, the girl just with a stranger, reveal her personal information, but never thought it would lead to death. Lisa is a famous influencer of short video. This day she came to Thailand alone, to participate in a week-long travel activity. She had planned to stay in a hotel with her boyfriend, but she didn't expect her boyfriend to bail on her. So the sullen Lisa went outside alone to get some air. And then, a woman with a birthmark on her face. She approached Lisa of her own accord. She asked Lisa, why didn't she have a boyfriend with her that late? She was willing to help if she could. With a flurry of concern from Anna, Lisa unguardedly gave out all her information. They became good friends who could talk to each other. The next day, Anna drove Lisa on her motorbike to visit all the scenic spots in Thailand. After a day and a night of fun, Anna dropped Lisa off at the door of the hotel. Then they went their separate ways. Before leaving, she hid in the corner, watching Lisa's every move, pulling out the keys from her bag. Lisa was about to open the door of the hotel, but what she didn't expect was, the door of the hotel was open in full view. It was clearly closed when she left. Someone must have taken advantage of the daylight to break in and rob the place. So Lisa cautiously walked towards the hotel, to the bedroom, what she saw was a messy scene. Even the passport was missing from the drawer. Obviously the thief knew herself very well, so Lisa called the police first. Then Anna arrived at the scene of the crime. The report's all filed now, we must go look out. She reassured Lisa that she knew the process of replacing a lost passport very well. She had done it before. All she had to do was fill in a form with specific personal information. Then just give it to the police. Even the password of the bank card should be marked truthfully. That's it. Lisa was guided by Anna to fill out the form. While waiting for her new passport, Lisa told her boyfriend that she would not be able to return to her country. She hoped that her boyfriend would not worry and that they would see each other soon. During their conversation, the boyfriend thought Lisa must be playful and didn't want to come back, and said the excuse on purpose. The two had a big argument, but Anna, who was hiding in the corner, could hear everything. The next day she tried to relax Lisa, so she drove the boat and took her to a deserted island. There were only two of them here. They could release their depression. Looking at the pile of firewood in front of her, Lisa sensed something was wrong. It looked like someone had been here, and the sticks were marked with a time stamp turn on her cell phone. The screen showed no signal to communicate with the outside world. This is a perfect place to kill someone. With Anna's greeting, Lisa didn't take it seriously. She didn't think Anna would do anything to her. So the two of them spent the night on a deserted island. After drinking the wine Anna had prepared, Lisa drifted off to sleep. It was slightly dawn. Anna had already packed her belongings. Sitting on the beach, then she took Lisa's bag and left the deserted island. It turned out that, she had been approaching Lisa with a purpose from the beginning. Now that she had achieved her goal, Anna left the deserted island in her boat, left Lisa sleeping on the island to fend for herself. Afterwards Anna opened the door of Lisa's hotel, and stayed inside, because she had now learned all of Lisa's personal information. She was the real Lisa. Not only that, Anna also openly took Lisa's phone, to travel around and take pictures, and when she got home, she used the computer to beautify the pictures, putting Lisa's headshot on top of her own. This way, she can create the illusion that Lisa is sending her photos. No one would know, the real Lisa was actually left behind on a deserted island. And so it goes. Anna used this technique to get away with it online for a long time, but it didn't last long. She accidentally flipped through her phone, and saw a picture of another influencer. This again aroused Anna's curiosity, so she started planning her next target. After three days and nights of stalking, Anna was already familiar with her target's every move, so she did the same as the first time she met Lisa. She took the opportunity to greet Julie. With Anna's kind reminder, Julie did not accept this. Just simply thanked her and left the place. As she watched her target drift away, this further aroused the competitive spirit of Anna. So in the daytime, she started to look at Julie's social accounts, no matter what the piece was. Anna took the initiative to comment on the following interaction. Eventually, after her persistent efforts, Julie replied, they agreed to meet tonight. When Anna arrived at the destination in the evening as promised, she pretended to be surprised again. She did not expect that Julie was the big star she met last night. She didn't recognize it at that time. After a compliment from Anna, Julie lowered her guard. The target finally took the bait. The next step was to gain sympathy by selling her misery. So Anna described Lisa's ordeal as her own. Her boyfriend had stood her up at the last minute. That's why she came to Thailand, where she didn't know anyone. Looking at Anna so pitiful, the kind-hearted Julie decided to accompany her back to the hotel for companionship. So they followed Anna's lead. They came to Lisa's hotel, but what she didn't expect was, the table in the center had two highballs on it for some reason. Then a man came out of the corner. It turned out that the man in front of her was Lisa's boyfriend. He knew that Lisa's passport had been stolen might be in danger, so he came to Thailand, in order not to reveal his identity. Anna had to say she was Lisa's best friend, she was out tonight and couldn't come back. She stayed here for the time being. To the surprise, the dumb Mark really believed Anna's lie, and so the two of them spent the night in the hotel. 
The next day Aunt opened her laptop, composed a voiceover of Lisa on her computer, called Mark's phone number. On the phone, Lisa announced her breakup with Mark without any reason. Then she hung up the phone. After it was done, Anne acted as if nothing had happened. At night, Julie understood the reason for the incident, so she took the initiative to call a cab. She thought she was a bit of a nuisance to the other side of the fence. Therefore, she wanted to leave the place. And Anna didn't own the place, but it was like her own home. So she reminded Anna that she should behave herself. After all, Lisa is the owner of this place. Then Julie handed Anna a 200 tip. She didn't want to take advantage of anyone. Looking at Julie's actions, Anna felt insulted. So she grabbed Julie by the hair and decided to kill her. Just as Anna was putting the body into the code box, a lot of blood was left on the floor, so she knelt down to clean up the battlefield. But the next moment, Mark came in from outside with a friend he had just met. It's a good thing he didn't find any blood on the floor. Anna was relieved, grabbing the fruit knife from the table. She went down the stairs to Mark's room, just as Anna was about to kill him. Her phone suddenly rang. The picture on it was a picture of her and Lisa together. This was proof that they had known each other before. So Anna gave up her plan to kill Mark. Instead, she took a liking to him, because since childhood, her circle of friends teased her about the birthmark on her face. That's why Anna did these extreme things. The purpose is to enjoy the life of beautiful women. Although Anna tries to seduce Mark with all her might, but it didn't work at all, because Lisa is more beautiful than her 100 times. Afterwards, Mark took advantage of Anna's departure from the hotel, sneaked into the bedroom, opened his backpack and inside was a diary, and it recorded the whole process of Anna's murder. Knowing the truth, Mark took out his weapon and put it in his hand. I never thought that a woman who looked so weak and vulnerable, she was so ruthless. When they collided with each other, Mark grabbed a stone and knocked Anna out, then he tied her to a chair and forced her to confess. Under interrogation, Anna told us about Lisa being trapped on a deserted island told the truth, and then said she could lead the way, and so the two arrived at the harbor in the dark of the night, but the next moment, Anna broke free from her bonds, pushed Mark into the sea from behind, then she grabbed a rope and strangled him to death, back to the shore to adjust to the situation, the next day, Anna drove the boat to the deserted island where Lisa was trapped, being trapped here for so many days, will definitely be starved to death, but what Anna never expected was that, Lisa not only did not die but also caught a lot of fish to feed the hungry, but now she didn't know where she was, in order to stop the problem, she grabbed a shovel and went into the primeval forest. Following the direction of the jungle, Anna came to the top of a mountain. She saw a tomb made of crosses. Just as she realized that something was wrong and was about to turn around, Lisa, who was hiding behind her, grabbed a wooden stick. She knocked Anna to the ground, seeing that she was not dead. Lisa added a little more. The end of the film is Lisa driving the boat out of the deserted island scene. This story tells us, never give out your identity information to strangers.